Hello students, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I am going to discuss about a poem written by Langston Hughes. The poem is Mother to Son. So before going to the poem and explaining it line by line, I would like to say some words about the poet. The poet here, as we see, is Langston Hughes. Here is a picture of Langston Hughes. As you can see, he was an Afro-American and he was a noted American poet. He wrote many novels and uh, short stories and dramas also. And uh, he was especially known as the innovator of a new school of poetry that is jazz school of poetry. Now what is jazz school of poetry? Uh, it has similarities with the jazz school of music. So what are the features that the jazz school of music and jazz school of poetry have common? So if we look at the features of this kind of poetry, we can know that jazz school of poetry have has mainly two features that is repetition of phrases or uh, repetition of phrases or um, lines as we will go through the poem mother to son we will see one line is repeated twice so this is a um, this is an important feature of jazz school of poetry the second one is improvisation and rhythm it has a ryth rhythmic quality. It has its own rhythm and it has improvisation. Improvisation means it is spontaneously creative. Like jazz music. So this is jazz school of poetry. Now I would like to share a few words about the poet, uh, poet's uh, writings. That is... Uh, Langston Hughes' poetry is about the Afro-American's pride and identity. He wrote the poets, poems, those were very lifting in spirit and those say, and those, uh, say to value the Afro-Americans. And the Afro-Americans has also some duties to their country they can serve their country they has they have the ability to serve their country and his poetry shows uh, the his poetry exhibits the pride and identity of the afro americans so uh, as this poem is written in 1920s so this is very relevant in that period okay now we can start the poetry the poem Mother to Son was written in 1922. Here the speaker is a mother who is talking to her son, advising her son. Uh, and here there is a silent listener, that is the son. So here she starts like this. Well, son, I'll tell you, lie for me ain't been so crystal clear. It's had tacks in it and splinters and boots torn up and places with no carpet on the floor bare. So here the mother is telling her son that life for her was not very easy and this easy and comfortable life is compared to the crystal stair crystal means literally glass like transparent and the crystal stair symbolizes comfort and easy life but for her life was not like that life was tough it's had tax in it. Tax means uh, nails with flat heads. That nails attach the carpet on the floor. 
so it had tacks in it splinters means the portions of wooden floor and splinters hanging from the wooden floor that is splinters the wooden portions hanging from the wooden floor and boards torn up and those splinters torn up and places with no carpet on the floor in places on the floor there is no carpet and it is bare means it is open so all these signify one thing that is the odds and oddities of life the toughness of life the difficulties and obstacles that life offers to her in fact life offers to everybody of us life has its own ups and downs so these words symbolize that ups and downs and here bear no carpet and bear it has another interpretation also it may symbolize the poverty in life when poverty financial crisis affects life it becomes bare exposed okay so life is not bed of roses it has its own ups and downs but all the time i spin a climbing on and reaching landings and turning corners and sometimes going in the dark where there ain't been no light but all the time she has been climbing on and reaching landings climbing on means going up and reaching reaching landings means coming down so these symbolize the ups and downs of life sometimes we climb up and sometimes we land down so this also symbolizes the nature of life that is always changing sometimes its graph is up and sometimes it is down and turning corner sometimes there are turning corners when we face many difficulties and sometimes going in the dark where there ain't been no light and sometimes it's dark darkness indicates insecurity of life threatening threatenings of life that life is not always safe it has its own challenges and sometimes we are confused also so it also indicates that darkness darkness also indicates the confusion of life and darkness means there's no light so in this position when we are confused in life or we are not safe our life is in danger but we must not give up so boy don't you turn back so the here the mother is advising her son not to turn back but go on and continue his journey of life never to show his back but always boldly face the ups and downs of the challenges of the life so she is advising him not to turn back don't you sit down on the steps cause you finds it's kinder heart and she advises him not to give up and sit down on the steps but to continue his journey so here sit down on steps means sit down on the steps means give up his spirit give up the journey succumb to the circumstances but this is not right according to his mother he must carry on his journey and face all the odds of life and overcome them one by one cause you finds its kind of heart when one wants to 
succumb to the situation when he finds it hard when he thinks it is not possible for him to carry on but she advises her son not to succumb to the circumstances because it is hard but to embrace them and overcome them don't you fall now for i still go in honey now she tells her son not to fall down but stand up and because she is also doing that she is also continuing her journey though she is much older than her son so why should her son much younger than her give up all his hopes and fall down this is not the right thing for i still going honey here who is referred as honey she is calling her son honey lovingly with love okay now i still climb when and lie for me ain't been no crystal stair so she is still climbing she is still continuing her journey to reach her destination when we climb we have to suffer a lot of troubles so she is going through all these troubles and defeating them so her son must do that and life for her was not always been a crystal clear so here you see the two lines are one uh, two lines are repeated life for me ain't been so crystal clear here this line this line is repeated in the last stanza and life for me ain't been crystal clear so as you can see this is the feature of jazz poetry now there are some abbreviations in the poem which i should pens mention to understand the poem properly here i'll means i will or i shall okay ain't means has not been ain't doesn't mean is not it means has not has not been it's means it is now here this expression eyes this means i have i have been again climb been means climbing reach in land in means reaching landing turn in means turning going means going here g is silent g is g is not written and it is the abbreviated form used by the point ain't here means has been hasn't been ain't means hasn't and now don't don't means do not and uh, here eyes means i am here eyes means i am so in the first stanza there was an eyes which means i have but in the last stanza it means i am so in poetry this may be used like that and this is a feature of jazz school of poetry too so this was the poem and this has an ethical point of view a moral lesson the poet is giving us that though life is not always comfortable easy we must not succumb to the situations but continue our journey and reach our destination so this was the poem thank you thank you for watching this video